Hi, my name's John, J-O-N. My last name's Drux, D-R-U-C-K-S. And you need to look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2014. It follows Change 2013 and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change. And we need change now. It's the 4th of July weekend, 2014. And by the time you see this, I hope everyone had a good time. But if you're celebrating the 4th of July, I guess that's okay. But if you're, if you're celebrating our independence, because again, the 4th of July is known as Independence Day, you are celebrating an illusion. And there's a lot of people out there right now living the life of illusion. And you better wake up, know your enemy, and take the power back. Those are the words of Rage Against the Machine. Over 20 years ago they were screaming at us about everything happening to our nation today. This is a plan. A plan for a new world order. And if anyone calls the new world order a conspiracy theory, you're living a life of illusion. It was promised. And it goes back a long ways, but Skulls and Bones Secret Society member Bush 41 promised a new world order. Hitler promised a new world order. And it goes with Skulls and Bones Bush 41 being the son of Skulls and Bones Prescott Bush, whose banks were shut down for funding the Nazis in World War II. We allowed the son and the grandson of the banker of the Nazis to become our president. What could possibly go wrong? Everything could go wrong. The Skulls and Bones Bushes and the Skulls and Bones John Kerry are in the bloodline of the Royals from across the pond. Imagine that. And I say imagine with John Lennon in mind because he talked about what I'm talking about. Look at the lyrics of the song, Give Me Some Truth. I have some other things from John Lennon on my Facebook page. He exposed the Illuminati. Talked about the the crazy people, I'll say it as nicely as I can, the crazy people ruling this nation. A whole new meaning to the British invasion. I'm waiting for Paul Revere to come riding in on a white horse. But the, the British are already here. We're under the rule of the very people we declared our independence from. As we're now 17 and a half trillion dollars in debt. Because the royals learned long ago the way to control a nation is become its banker. Then create false flag operations like 9 11 that trigger false flag wars like Iraq, Afghanistan, and pending nuclear World War III, burying the nation in debt. Literally, bury them. We fell for the oldest trick in the royal book made up of secrets and lies. It's been used to take down every great empire before us. But everyone wants to say it's a conspiracy theory. This is nothing new. I have a couple of videos out there that say the New World Order has been around for 6,000 years. I saw one where it talked about Constantine the Great, a Roman emperor. This is nothing new, and it was promised to you. It isn't a conspiracy theory. It was promised. And they need some big event, like 9-11. But we're being promised something even bigger and better, more deadly. But the people I believe are behind 9-11. And you better wake up now. Quit living that life of illusion. I'm sick and tired of listening to people how wonderful what life is when they have no clue what really is going on and they're going to end up with nothing just like me. And when you have nothing, you have nothing to lose. 
How does it feel like a rolling stone? The story of my crazy life, living in a nation, ruled under secrets and lies. The truth is the word of God. The truth and the people seeking and speaking it are the enemy of this nation. The truth has been turned into a conspiracy theory. And based on that theory, God's going to become the next enemy and his word the next conspiracy theory. Because that's what we have going on here. Let's drop the theories, let's talk conspiracies, but no one wants to talk about politics, religion, and or death. That's why I chose to write my book on all three. How do you like me now? How do you like, like this Rolling Stone? If the, if the world hates you, know it hated me first. John 15, 18. Again, the truth and the people seeking and speaking are the enemy of this nation. They're made fun of by all the people living a life of illusion or that are part of the destruction of America. Because let's drop the theories, let's talk conspiracies. That's a warning. <laughs> I believe there is a mass conspiracy and a mass cover-up includes the mass media of the destruction of America. So all you little people out there that are part of the conspiracy, you're destroying America, whether you know it or not. And you better wake up. I not only believe 9-11 was an inside job, I believe it was made into a royal, Nazi, Masonic, Satanic ritual. I believe there's a Luciferian conspiracy based on Marxist Hegelian logic. Everything we are told is the opposite of our royal rulers and so-called leaders' intentions. And all you people part of this little conspiracy, guess what? You're pawns in the game. If you think you're one of the chosen ones, you better think again quick. Because the one New World Order promises one world government, one world currency, and one world religion, and it's ours. And if you think it's yours, you better think again. Because one world religion is going to do the thinking for you. Think about that for a minute. You better think about everything going on in this country for a minute, or an hour, or a day. Or the rest of your life like I am. You know, I've dedicated the last two years of my life writing my book in the last three years on my project on change. And nothing changes without the truth, is my conclusion. We're under the rule of the same people we declared our independence from. So, anyone that declared, that uh, celebrated Independence Day, guess what? You celebrated an illusion, at least in my book. And part of the Declaration of Independence says we have a duty to stand up. It even mentions the royals. And here it goes with even our founding fathers, they weren't perfect by any means because we, we're living on some of the problem right now. And it's these secret societies, the Illuminati, and all you have to do is turn over a $1 bill to see it. Even says one new world order on it. Next to in God we trust. Proves who the God is, the almighty petrodollar. So that's what 9 11 is really about. Premeditated oil wars in the name of God. Goes with that satanic ritual. And it's also the ultimate insult to my God. He says, Thou shalt not kill. What does your God say? So to be fighting wars in the name of God is insane. Is as insane as those royal rulers and the royal war pig bankers. And you better wake up. I'm going to keep saying that. Hopefully everyone wakes up. Because we're all about to have nothing. Join the crowd. Misery loves company. And that's why I've chosen to walk this path by myself. Because you're never alone when you believe in God and Jesus, three's company. And I'm sick and tired of living in a sick and twisted world, all based on secrets and lies, under the rule of secrets and lies. 
The royals and the Nazis have a long courtship. Another secret and lie. I believe we were set up to lose World War II is what I think. Goes with Skulls of Bones, Bush 41's father. Banks being shut down for funding the Nazis. I think we're being set up to lose World War Nuclear World War Three. That's what you need to look at. Was 9-11 part of Revelation 9-11 in the book of Revelations? Are we living out chapter 13 of the book of Revelation? I think we are. A royal plot to deliver on the promise of a new world order. Something that's been around forever, but everyone just wants to look the other way. Go out and celebrate your independence. I believe we're living out the story of JFK in America today. I believe everything that JFK warned us about in his secret society speech is ruling our nation today. I believe the same could be said of his separation of church and state speech. Those royal rulers holding holy books are the kings of cover-up and I'm not so sure they're not part of the satanic ritual. And again, I grew up in Catholic schools, Catholic church. I was even an altar boy, but I was no angel. But I, I've always tried to live by the golden rule. Always try to tell the truth. Whether people like it or not, just like my book that no one likes. I dedicated the last two years of my life to write my book that no one will even put their name on it. The state of this union is pathetic, a direct reflection of the pathological liars ruling it. We, we need to stand up. Stand up for the truth of 9-11, the wars of the new world order now. It's now or never. JFK exposed the plot to enslave every man, woman, and child of this nation. He was assassinated seven days later, I believe, by the royal plotters. And I believe we're living out the royal, the royal plot of enslavement today. Not to change this without the truth. My mother received a message from above after the assassination of JFK saying our government was involved. And I believe her message is correct. And I believe if we find the truth on 9-11, we'll have found the truth on the assassination of JFK. Same royal plot, different day. My mother's family's been traced back to Joan of Arc. She received a message from above 600 years ago saying the royal family of England was taking over France. Imagine part of a new world order. 600 years. Same royal plot, different day. Because I, I believe the royal family of England's taking over, over us. Matches Joan of Arc's message. Because control is the name of the royal's game. And history proves if they can't control, they kill. And I believe Lady Di could testify to that, but I believe they killed her after they couldn't control her. Just like JFK, my namesake. Just like Joan of Arc, my bloodline. And just like Jesus, my savior. Because I, I believe the royal plot has us living out the end of the Christian calendar based on the beginning. Nuclear world war against that great enemy from the north as we stand by the side of Israel until the day we die is being created as I speak. That war scenario in the New World Order comes out of the book of Revelation. And I believe, well, the book of Revelation is the end story written by John. And I believe it directly relates to the message I've received from above. I believe the message of the Spirit of Truth, John 16, 13, is the truth of the end. Either we're going to stand up for the truth or we're going to live out the end. And I believe we're living out chapter 13 of the book of Revelation as I, as I speak. A royal plot. The truth will set us free, John 8, 32. Free at last, free at last, the words of MLK. His dream of a black man in the White House is our nightmare. If anyone believes all the problems that this nation faces arrived with our current president, what's his name, born in who knows where, they don't even know what the royal, Nazi, Masonic, satanic ritual is. Problem is. It's a ritual, though. 
Again, I've seen many of things that suggest that our current president is a product of the Skulls and Bones Bush 41 secret CIA. Us not knowing the true identity of our president, it only shows what a royal problem we have, royal Nazi problem we have. That's why we need to stand up right now. I think we should give our president one chance, and one chance only, to tell us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. He's under oath. And again, the Declaration of Independence says we have a duty and responsibility to stand up against the royals. It specifically says it. The Constitution of the United States says we have a duty and responsibility to stand up and protect ourselves. Protect the Constitution of the United States. All the people in our military, all the people in our public offices, you've all taken oaths to uphold the Constitution of the United States. And it's time to make good on it, starting with our president. As crazy as it sounds, again, I don't believe we even know who our president is or where he was born, and I'm not even so sure he knows. And that's how sick and twisted this is. He could become known as the greatest president ever. He saved our country. Again, I believe the people should stand up right now and give our president one chance and one chance only to expose everything and bring all those involved in the mass conspiracy and the mass cover-up, includes the mass media, and the destruction of America to justice, and upon conviction, take everything they have. It's the only answer we have left, and it's called the truth. We're 17 and a half trillion dollars in debt on the verge of a nuclear World War III, and we don't even know who our president is. But let's go out and celebrate our independence. Have another beer. Call me crazy. I'm going to be called right in the end. And I'm not so sure the end isn't real soon. Again, the same people that I believe are behind 9-11 are now talking about an attack even bigger. We need to stand up now. You need to look at my entire Facebook page. I've been working on this a long time. And I believe I'm being, I am being led to the truth from above. And all I'm doing is standing for the Word of God. And standing for our Constitution. Standing for the Declaration of Independence. And every other one, everyone else needs to do it right now. There's only so much I can do by myself. And I've decided just to walk this path by myself. Because you're never alone when you believe in God and Jesus three's company. So quit saying you're a Christian and stand up for the truth. It's the Word of God. And again, I believe we're living out the end of the Christian calendar based on the beginning. I believe the people behind 9-11, the wars, are in the bloodline of the same people that put a bullet in the head of JFK, that burned Joan of Arc at the stake, and put Jesus on the cross. That's, who, who, that's who's really ruling your world. At least in my book. This is nothing new, people. And then obviously people have stood up throughout time against the New World Order plan. And it's time for us to stand right now. Because again, anyone willing and able to pull off 9-11 in the wars is willing and able to pull off anything and everything, including the end, at least for us. And it's all set up. We're set up to lose. We're set up to die. I believe we will die if we continue to live the 9-11 lie. So, again, stand up. Stand up for the truth. It's the Word of God. My name's John, J-O-N. My last name's Drux, D-R-U-C-K-S. Look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2014, Files Change 2013, and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change, and we need change now. Don't shoot the messenger. It's God's call of duty for all of us. Peace.